Hello, it's Benny here. The daily update on STI and one stocks that I have for you. Alright, so let's take a look into STI. Actually, um, there's nothing much to say. Alright, uh, it doesn't really change much. So today I'm showing you um, the weekly chart. So what, what is this weekly chart about, right? So for example, this weekly chart, um, one bar is five trading days. So it gives us a broader perspective all right it's removed the noise so i always always like to use the higher time frame for analysis um some say that hey look you know if i'm trading in the lower time frame like i'm using like a one hour chart do i still use the weekly chart the answer is yes you want to see those key levels that's important to you okay so this aside so let's take a look at the weekly chart of sti um price is um you know forming a dodgy here or you can say maybe that's uh, not really looking like dodgy but for about um uh, two weeks it hasn't really been moving in a solid bar so what are the solid bars these are the solid bars okay either the red now bars or the green up bar okay so for now uh, at a known resistance it's having a like a uh, confusion it doesn't really know where to move so this adds a like a you know uh, indecision here so nothing much for STI uh, except that today all right things might becomes a little bit more interesting because we start to see a little bit of a solid bar movement here so price open high and then it's um, forcing its way down uh, for Simski which is the futures contract of uh, Singapore free index All right um, it is actually showing a bearish signal already it just hasn't translated to STI yet so same thing uh, if this level which is the recent low has been broken all right which is about 3215 or you round down a little bit which is 3210 then this pretty much uh, suggests you know um, a, a, a move by STI to be in the bearish zone okay so do know right 3210 this key level here now um today I'm just going to share one stock with you okay uh, my uh, discussion here it's educational it's not any financial advice but I just want to bring to attention certain things to look out for when you're analyzing stocks okay so um, I would be covering different stocks across different markets that I'm trading so whether it is a uh, you know Singapore stocks or it's a Hong Kong stocks or it is um, uh, US stocks right so these are the few stocks I want to cover but you know let's take a look into DBS okay and I always always like to have a look into the weekly chart now for DBS this is very interesting because for DBS all right if you look at what happened to the historical price data of DBS okay let's take a look at the monthly chart first historical price data of DBS right now the that there was you know few highs okay so in DBS there was this high which is uh, in year 2000 so there's another one more high and the other high here now what visible in terms of the highest price in the past 20 years okay was this level here all right so this was the level that you need to take note of okay all right now this level is a historical high right but it has been exceeded so this it's like what's a historical high okay now i'm just gonna draw a horizontal line at this level here um let me just get manic 2 and then draw it now this is that horizontal line okay now this horizontal line is important because then you know um, a historical high marks a very important meaning it means it's the highest point right so price was rejected at this higher point there must be a very strong fundamental reason for price to close above this highest point okay fundamental reasons such as uh, you know increased business uh, new business opportunity increased profitability etc now we saw that during last year march sorry this year march right there was a uh, touch that means the price has broken above and then there was a touch but as of last month which is the close of may right price to close below the all-time high here that means that whoever who bought in this region that means that whoever who bought in this region here they are actually at a loss why they think that you know by breaking a new high price would um, 
reached new height. For example, by breaking um, the price of thirty-one dollars, and by moving to thirty-seven, all right, then you know price might move to even higher. Um, but instead of moving higher, it's actually right now closing below this all-time high. Okay, now sometimes there might be you know a fake breakout. I call this a watch and means, right? For example, as of May close, that means the month of May close, right? Price is still very much seemingly like a support of this recent low. So let me just mark this recent low here with a blue line. So you see that it's it, as, as of this May close, the month of May, it might be looking like a support of this recent low. Alright, so many times we have this effect of a fake breakout, and how do you know, um, you know, it is not a fake breakout? Then we need to know that, all right, when price try to move up, that lever, that is that 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 lever that resulted in the bearish move that you you have or bearish idea that you might have, in turn, it's becoming a resistance. Okay, therefore, this was a resistance. It broke, and then it again it move down and right now it is becoming a resistance okay so this 3128 which was the all-time high has been broken below and right now it's acting as a resistance okay so with this we sort of you know know that hey perhaps right that particular support here okay has been already eroded has been reversed to become a resistance Okay, so then what we do is that we flip right to the um, lower time frame like a week. Okay, so we want to see as long as price continue to cluster around this region here, all right, at the resistance of 31.28 without closing above it, then there is a high chance that this resistance is valid. Now, one of the things that we want to check is that it must never close above the recent high here. That means that if it close above the recent high, so there is a chance that, you know, that bearish move is going to be fake. But as long as it is still kept at this recent high, okay, so then, you know, that resistance will be valid. So we have two key levels here, which is this recent high at 31.75, and then the all-time high level that was unbroken, all right, that's about 3128. So these are the two levels that you need to take note of. Now to sum up, all right, uh, there might be a possibility that DBS is weakening first. That means that amongst the three banks in Singapore, um, DBS is actually you know um, weakening so do check out the fund flow all right um, because this is something that um, I've talked about so do check out the fund flow if you need me to um, check the fund flow and talk about how to use the fund flow uh, do let me know in the comment section so that I can talk about it in my next uh, discussion uh, and if you do like you know whatever that I'm sharing and you want to be updated uh, whenever a video has been posted all right remember to click that you know, subscribe button so that you'll be notified. Alright, see you again later.